Chaos Loving Universe, it's Xander, and welcome back to ARW. We are here on October 16th. Wow, I should have looked at the calendar before I started going live. We're live from San Antonio, Texas, the most haunted city in the USA for Halloween Havoc. Apologies for the low quality ring and everything, I was lazy this time. First things first tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we are kicking off the show with the first of two Hell in a Cell matches. Disclaimer, as I said before, I'm really sorry about the ring and everything not being custom made. I was just, I had a lot of trouble making this one, sorry. This was just easier. Out first is the leader of Big Bad Bosses. And just in case I didn't get my point The new leader, the, the big bad bosses. The, castle, no the former Team Rocket no leader, the Kanto region, the gym leader of the Kanto region, Giovanni. Giovanni is all alone in the night. Even if they gotta run up on me, I got tricks and traps and bait. He's not going to be able to have any backup inside the set. That doesn't seem to phase him too much. He's not letting it phase him too much. Giovanni Knight. Ladies and gentlemen, as much as I don't like the man, get ready for a spectacular entrance. Because the key thing about being a villain, presentation. And this man has it. Because this is the one winged angel, Sephiroth. Sephiroth, the former member of Big Bad Bosses. He challenged for the ARW Championship for a long time. Tag Team Champion. Last month, the ARW Revolution, he was screwed out of his match with Giovanni. All three members of Big Bad Bosses that weren't Giovanni were there at ringside, and they were getting in Sephiroth's way left and right. They slid a chair into the ring at the end. Blind referee didn't see it. it Curb stomp onto the chair, and Sephiroth was defeated. Now Sephiroth. He finally gets his shot to face off with Giovanni. They're locked inside the Devil's Playground. Hell in a Cell. Just, this is a very awe-inspiring entrance. One-winged angel, striking fear into many. There's the smoke rising up, engulfing Sephiroth in it. Giovanni almost looking like he's questioning his decision to accept this match. Either way, here we go. 
Oh, a big clothesline from Severoth. Severoth on the clothesline again. And this is the mugging I expected from Severoth. As Giovanni with a counter of his own, the right hand. Now he's on Severoth off the ropes. Ducks him. And now Severoth countering. And Giovanni dumped over the top rope. Sephiroth finds the counter to Giovanni there. Giovanni tried to knock him off the rope. Sephiroth, swing and a miss, gets taken down. Giovanni's in the corner. No. Sephiroth on the clothesline. Sephiroth, look at this, just toss Giovanni across the ring. Kicks the back. Has Giovanni up. Off the rope, Sephiroth. Body slams him back into the mat. Sends Giovanni back in the corner. A big knee strike and into. Oh, he gets shoved down by Giovanni. And there's a counter. Giovanni drops Sephiroth with a reverse DDT. This match is really Giovanni getting everything he deserves after causing Sephiroth's friends, his bosses, his team to turn on him. Calling him the weak link. Sephiroth, really, if you ask me, keeping all biases aside, I'd say Sephiroth was probably the strongest of big bad bosses. The whole team itself was just in a slump. At least that's my theory on it. As Sephiroth, Northern Lights. And into a brain buster. Sephiroth. Taunts Giovanni who grabs him. And Paul Nelson slams him face first into the mat. And look at those. Giovanni just sits down. Now at this point it's almost like Sephiroth's just telling him to hit him. Hit me. Saying, hit me, Giovanni, hit me. Giovanni's implying he's hitting him. And now Giovanni on the ropes. Curb stomp. One. No, Sephiroth kicks out at one. Giovanni. Pulls the trigger. Knee strike to Sephiroth. Could that be enough? One. No, again, a kick out at one. Good lord. Now Giovanni's got him back up. And Sephiroth finds the counter. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, come on. Well, here comes Bowser. Wait a minute. Bowser's... Bowser's climbing the cell. He's climbing to the top of the cell. Bowser... What the hell is Bowser doing up there? Taunting down at Sephiroth. What the hell? Look down the... Who the hell is that? That guy looks really familiar. Wait, I'm trying to make out with that shirt set. What the hell? Xandermania! NARW, he just hit a pedigree on Bowser. Go 
Bowser has no idea what's going on. Bowser! Pound of the cell! Oh my god! Who even let LS11 into the building? He just used Bowser to cushion his fall and he's walking away just fine. And back in the ring. Oh, and off the distraction from Bowser. Giovanni drops Sephiroth. Well, where'd the lights go? It was at this moment he knew. You know the rest. One winged angel. Good night, Giovanni. Big victory for Sephra. LS11 is in ARW? And he just helped Sephra. I'm very confused at the moment. Bowser's been thrown from an announce table. LS11 jumped off the cell. And now Sephiroth's beat Giovanni. This might be the weirdest opening match to any ARW show ever, but that is a well-earned victory on behalf of Sephiroth. Credit where it is due. What is he doing? The two wrongs don't make a right. And as I said, I'm not supposed to be biased. But Giovanni... What the hell? Giovanni... deserves everything he's getting and more right now. Sephiroth drops him. There's only one last thing. One of the last hits. Of course, Sephiroth is playing all the hits in his matchup. One last thing we didn't see. Sin Harvest! Big victory for Sephiroth. We have the Tag Team Championships on the line up next. Congratulations to whoever's anniversary that is. Up next, as I said, ARW Men's Tag Team Championships. Always gonna be good. This show, already with that opener, I might be a bit impartial to the running from LS11. I do do like me some LS11. He's a good guy. He's a real good guy. Helping out a helping out a moral enemy like Sephiroth like that. It's, it's, it's not something you see very often. Anyway, this could be one of the best ARW shows today. As Little Mac and Doc Lewis are making their way to the ring first. challenging, hopefully, for him to win his first championship in ARW. Could it happen? Very well could. Of course, when he's teaming up with ARW's friendly neighborhood superhero, the one and only the amazing Spider-Man. Spider-Man and Little Mac could be winning their first championships ever tonight.
but they have to go through two people who have been major thorns in their sides lately. It's like a jack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it's like a jack. It's the ARW Tag Team Champions. WarioWare Incorporated, the wielder of the Infinity Gauntlet, the greediest man in ARW, Wario, Waluigi, the Wicked Bros. Luigi won the championships only a month ago at Revolution when they stole a match with the Beards of War from Little Mac and Sp Wait, no, was it Little Mac and Spider-Man? You can tell it's been a month. From Big Bad Bosses, excuse me. Look at this, the stare down. Waluigi just bumps the shoulder of Little Mac. You know, they know Little Mac and Spider-Man are too respectful to do anything about it. Here we go. The ARW Tag Team Championships on the line. Little Mac starts it off with Wario. Here we go! Oh, Little Mac with a clothesline to start it off. Sends Wario off the corner. The jabs. I've heard rumors. I've heard rumors, and I hate to say it, but I've heard rumors that Spider-Man is coming into this match with severe injuries to his ribs. Perhaps a couple broken ribs, maybe some bruised ones. Not sure the severity of the injury, but I've heard Spider-Man might be injured after that fatal four-way tag match a couple weeks ago. He didn't receive any medical attention from it. He refused medical attention, and so it could either be Little Mac on his own tonight. Well, if Spider-Man gets in there, it might be a dangerous thing, because it might be a game of risk versus reward. As Little Mac starting this match, typically Little Mac does start the matches for the team, I believe. Sounds right. It might be an even split. I can't remember. I haven't gotten the statistic in front of me at the moment. Mac is jabbing away at Wario. I kind of think maybe Little Mac starting off this match might be a hint towards that. Those rumors of Spider-Man with a rib injury being true. This little Mac's being stomped now by Wario. Mac was getting some good jabs in there. And thrown in the corner. Tag made, Waluigi's in. Off the ropes. Wario with a drop to old Waluigi with an elbow drop. Of course, Spider-Man was throwing himself all over the ring. Ago, so very well could be the case. Waluigi also is pulling double duty tonight. Because remember, Waluigi will be taking on Captain America and Shaggy for the ARW Interdimensional Championship later tonight. So Waluigi could walk out with one title, he could walk out with two, or he could walk out with none. He could have a great night, he could have an okay night, or he could have a terrible night. Cover one. Two, Spider-Man breaks that one. Before he goes down in the process. Because now Spider-Man, oh no, not much signs of injury there. He wasn't doing anything really too intense on his ribs, though. As Mac now, the combination strike to Waluigi. Turns Waluigi over. Ooh, that was another throw. Mac sends Waluigi off the ropes, ducks him, and hip toss. Look at Little Mac go. And Waluigi with a forearm. And stomps him down. Waluigi turns him over into a cover. 
One. No, Mac kicks out again. And Waluigi with a knee to the knee to the face that time. And Waluigi discus clothesline. Cover. One. Spider-Man breaks that one up. The Warriors just took out the referee. What's Waluigi doing? Waluigi back in the ring. Wario back out of the ring. Waluigi. Uh-oh. Setting Mac up. Oh, the Claymore. One. No, again, Spider-Man saving his tag partner. But you can only save him so many times before, you know, before it's all over. Mac, he hasn't moved in a minute or two at least. As Wario is now tagged in. Max rolled away from the ropes. Wario with a leg drop. Wario picks him up. And Wario has little Max, sends him into the corner. And Mac finds the counter. Sends Wario into the corner. Mac with a jab. And another. Tag made. Spidey's in. Oh, the star punch! Cover! Waluigi distracting the ref! One! Two! No! Mere moments away from new tag team champions. Drop kick from Spider-Man. He tried to stop Warrior from getting the tag. Oh, and Waluigi! Dropping Spider-Man. And another clothesline. Spider-Man has only been in the match for a few moments and he already looks like he's out of it. Maybe those reports of an injury were true. Well, Spider-Man is trying to fight out of it now. Spidey. Frog splash, but oh, look, he favors the ribs there. You may not see too much high flying like that from Spider-Man tonight, which would be very much out of his element. In the corner, big clothesline drops him. Waluigi stomps him and turns him over. Waluigi. Oh, so much pressure on the ribs there. But Spidey trying to slip out of it. He does. Super. Oh, went for the super kick. Waluigi drills him face first into the mat. Discus clothesline. Spider-Man. Sends Waluigi in the corner. Spidey with a rough hand. Spider-Man telling Waluigi, get up. Get up. Telling him, come on now. Spider-Man. Through the ropes. Grabs him for a neck breaker. Into the cover. One. No. Tag made. Max back in. And Max calling Waluigi up. Star punch. Double axe handle. Spider-Man up top. Cover. One. Two. No. Oh, five. Oh, no. He actually took Mac out at the same time. Everybody's down, except Spider-Man. Oh, and Spider-Man crashes and burns. 
the Mac counters. Mac close lines Waluigi. Drop kick. Sends Waluigi into the corner. Oh, down goes the referee. Oh, he went low. Because of course he went low. The referee has no idea where he is. Mac, Spider-Man, neither of them know where they are. Claymore to Spider-Man. Well, Spider-Man wasn't injured coming into this match. He's injured now. No doubt in my mind. Spider-Man's down. And big boo. Same way they won the championships. Clearly not 100% Little Mac and Spider-Man tonight. Cover. One, two, three. Mario and Waluigi retain. Very unfortunate scenario for Spider-Man and Little Mac. Still, ARW Tag Team Champions. Spider-Man and Little Mac, they're gonna have to... They're gonna have to figure things out now. Spider-Man, he's gotta get that back treated. Ribs is back. Clearly, he's not 100%. He's too stubborn to go to a doctor. Move on to our next match. Women's Championships on the line up next, ladies and gentlemen. We saw the ARW Women's Tag Team Championships defended on Thursday in a match between the Daughters of Thanos, the newly formed women's tag team of Gamora and Nebula, when they took on the champions Wondercroft in titles. They came up short that night, so Wondercroft are still the champions. But Sailor Moon is making her way to the ring, and she's challenging for the ARW Women's Championship tonight. Sailor Moon enters the ring. This is her first opportunity at the ARW Women's Championship. Actually. She's taking on the ARW Women's Champion Power Girl, who has been unstoppable as of late. Remember, Team Captain Marvel had that insane 30-minute Iron Man match last month for the championship. Power Girl winning in the last possible second. Power Girl has not been defeated one-on-one. -on -one. At least has not lost one-on-one. -on -one. She's been pinned by Captain Marvel, and that is it. That is what they're fighting for, the ARW Women's Championship. Here we go. Oh wait, Power Girl has her up, Sailor Moon. Oh, whoa, for the title. One, 
Two, no, Powerball kicked out of that one. That's where Kit gets caught with an elbow in the knee. Into a lockup now. Now this match is now the match starts. Now they're fun to begin with. Down goes Sailor Moon. And Power Girl wrestles her away. Sailor Moon, no. Power Girl shoves her off the ropes. And Sailor Moon holds on though. Oh, and Sailor Moon kicks out the knees. Sailor Moon beat She-Hulk, and Sailor Moon beat Rogue to get into the situation. Missile drop kick to the back. Yes, Sailor Moon knocked off two very big competitors to get into this matchup. What the hell is she doing? Big elbow there. around and oh my god reverse shooting star press into the cover one no counter kick out again from power girl oh what the women's right oh my god one oh no well power girl knows how to kick out of her own move that's for sure that that much is clear now sailor man <laughs> lord See a whole new side of Sailor Man tonight. Suplex into the cover. And foot catches the ropes. Sailor Moon up again. Oh, rolls her through again. Power Girl, could she reach the ropes or is she going to kick out? Two. Kick out. Oh, there's, re there's the rear view. And killing Sailor Moon up for it. Oh, well, we saw Power Girl kick out of it. Well, we see Sailor Moon kick out of the women's right into the cover. One. Two. No, she kicks out. And now Power Girl takes out the arm. Power Girl goes up high. And no! She tries to fly, but Sailor Moon out of the way. And now Sailor Moon, no, went for a kick to get back in the ring, but Power Girl was just out of reach. And now Power Girl into a chin lock on Sailor Moon, who's trying to fight out of it. And it looks like she's going to do it. And she's out of it. for a springboard clothesline. Got her that time, springboard sling blade, excuse me. And now she's going up high. Sailor Moon into the moon. Stomp connects. Into the cover as quickly as possible there. One, two. No, a kick out from Power Girl. Sailor Moon was a moment away from winning the championship. Kick to the head. Right hand to the back. Power Girl has her. Into Burn a Breaker. Knocks her back down. Sailor Moon back up to her feet. Power Girl with a forearm. And another. And Dr. Haley kick. Is it back up? Power Girl into the rear view. Drags her away from the ropes. Into the cover. One. Two. No! Oh, Sailor Moon just got caught. She kicked up into a women's right. One. Two. Three. Power Girl. Still the champion. your winner.
we have what is certain to be a collision course on our hands next as a singles matchup. As we're going to see one mem one fourth of the Deadly Alliance take on one fourth of the Justice League. First of three Deadly Alliance versus Justice League matches tonight. As here comes the heel Pokemon, Incineroar. Incineroar is the muscle of the Deadly Alliance, and he has proved it time and time again now. Came up short in Batman a couple weeks ago, but he destroyed Green Lantern and Flash in that eight-man tag match on Thursday this week. And now he is here, and he is taking on the biggest man of the, Death, or of the Justice League. Of course, I'm talking about the former ARW Heavyweight Champion, the longest reigning ARW Champion. The Man of Steel, Superman. Superman, this is, uh, it's, the side is starting to, it's started to set over these last couple months that Superman's not an RW champion. It's, a it's still kind of strange to see him not wearing the championship when he makes his way to the ring. Not something that I particularly remember off the top of my head sometimes. But you gotta think, he was champion forever. Five full months as champion, that's the longest title reign in the ARW at the moment. Marvel had a four-month reign. That's the second longest. And Thanos is third with a three-month reign with his championship. Superman has made his way to the ring, and he's taking on Incineroar, right here, right now, at Halloween Havoc. Here we go. Oh, Superman went for the corkscrew immediately, takes out the referee. Dropkick from Incineroar. And another, at that time he got Superman down. Incineroar to the top rope. And a cross body. This is going to be a high pace, high action, hard hitting. As Incineroar went for a jab, Superman caught him, flips over, and rolling cutter. This one, I'm going to say, this one could go either way. And Superman with the Superman punch immediately. Incineroar, though, rolls him through. One, two, no, Superman kicks out. Incineroar's got Superman now. He can't get him up. Superman counters. He couldn't get him up. And Superman gets catches Incineroar. Big spine buster. And Superman now calling him up. First big move of the matchup could be incoming. Spear connects. And look at this. He powers Incineroar up. And he is going to drop him. Into the cover. One. Two. No. There's a kick out. Incineroar, Darkus Lariat. Same way they won on Thursday. No, a kick out from Superman. Oh, Superman punch. 
Incineroar quickly gets out of the ring on that one. And, oh my God, clothesline Superman into the apron. Incineroar runs him into the barricade. As I said, don't be surprised if this match goes either way. What the hell? Incineroar, what's he doing? He just got, he's got Superman out in the ARW universe. Oh my god. Seven count, good lord. That rolling kick over the barricade. Eight count, and both men break the count. Incineroar, Macho Man elbow drop. One, two, Superman kicks out. Incineroar is now running hot, running wild on Superman. Big drop kick. And Incineroar, oh, crashes and burns on that one. Crashed and burned. There, went for an elbow. Superman, got him. Belly to belly drops him. Now Superman standing over Incineroar. I how the tables have turned in this matchup. Incineroar now taking a couple shots at Superman, who just headbutts him down. And just hit a big spear. Into the cover. One, two, no! Superman. He's setting Incineroar up for a Superman punch into the cover. One, two, throw! Two and a half. Superman up high. And it's Whoa! -ho -ho. Incineroar backbreaker, double backbreaker, hurls Superman right where he wants him into the malicious moonsault. Cover. One, two, no. This time Superman kicks out at two. Incineroar drops him with a leaping clothesline into the cover. Another kick out. Superman counters. Superman now with Incineroar up. Powers him up high and drops him. It's really going to come down to who hits their finishing move next. Big Spear. That might be it. One. Two. No! Lord. This match is still going. And Superman. Off the rope. Springboard Moonsault. Setting him up again. Oh. My God! The Superman punch has been countered. He's up. Into a second. Malicious moonsault. Wasted no time on that one.
Superman may finally be beat. One, two, three, yes. Incineroar beats Superman. I cannot believe that match just happened. And I also cannot believe Incineroar just beat the Man of Steel clean as a whistle in the middle of the ring. Well, we got our, we got another championship on the line up next. So let's move on to our next match. The ARW Interdimensional Championship is on the line next. Out first is the man who could become a double champion by the end of this matchup. He's one half of the ARW Tag Team Champions. Waluigi. Not long ago tonight, just two matches ago, he and his tag team partner Wario knocked off Little Mac and Spider-Man to retain the ARW Tag Team Championships. You gotta think, Waluigi, he probably wanted those last two matches to go for as long as possible. Because the longer those two matches went, the longer Waluigi had to recover. Look at that tag match. Waluigi was hit with both the Star Punch and a 054 in that matchup. Almost defeated by Spider-Man and Little Mac. And if you ask me, if Spider-Man and Little Mac had been 100% in that matchup, Shaggy. This is his third? Yes, his third opportunity at a championship here in ARW. His first championship opportunity came at ARW Shattered Dimensions when he lost in the Fatal 4-Way. He was not the one pinned in that Fatal 4-Way. They did lose. His next opportunity was just a couple weeks ago against Captain America where Waluigi ran interference and took out both men in the match, making his statement clear wanted in this match, so now this is why we're here. And finally, the ARW Interdimensional Champion. Captain America. Steve Rogers. been the champion since July 4th. That's an easy one for me to remember.
Here we go. Triple threat underway. Shaggy with Anita. Waluigi. Waluigi. For a clothesline to Shaggy. Shaggy with a kick. And now. Shaggy. Just watches on as Waluigi. Whoa, Waluigi gets kicked in the ribs. And now Waluigi. Uppercut to Shaggy. And clothesline to Captain America. It's all legal in this matchup. Steel chair to Shaggy. Steel chair. Off the, oh no, Steve finds the counter and Steve with a shoulder block. Kick to the back of Waluigi. Stomp to the face as well. Now Shaggy just sits and watches. Now, Shaggy. If I were Shaggy and Captain America, I'd team up to try and get Waluigi out of the way. He's been the biggest threat to both of them over the last while. Remember, Shaggy and Waluigi, they were supposed to have a match quite some time ago. That revolution. Shaggy being taken up by Wario and Waluigi that night. And the way the match didn't happen. Oh, on the chair over the back of the skull. And now Rogers has him up. Power bombs him down. Rope break saves Waluigi again. That was going to be a rope break with Cole and Lee. Shaggy taken down by Steve. Now Rogers with a clothesline. And Rogers belly to belly to Shaggy. Waluigi turns him around, has him up, and drops him with a back body drop. And a nice even mix between the three in this matchup as Steve puts Waluigi in the corner. Waluigi finds the counter. And Waluigi sends Steve Rogers off the turnbuckle. Discus clothesline into the cover. Shaggy right there breaks it up. Oh, and he caught Shaggy. Waluigi has Shaggy up. And... Power bombs and we're right on top of Steve Rogers. And now the chair to Shaggy. On Steve Rogers. Drops Waluigi. Waluigi rolls under the bottom rope. Right. One, two, no. Now Steve Rogers into a step over to old face lock on Shaggy. When Shaggy taps out, it's over. Well now if Shaggy taps out, it doesn't matter. Luigi. Blow, blow to Steve Rogers. Doesn't matter. It's all legal and a triple threat. Nonetheless, Steve out of the ring. Boot to Shaggy. Cover. One. Two. Oh, no. Rogers is down on the outside. Oh, God. Oh, come on! Well, that's the ARW champion, Captain Falcon. We know he's got some issues with Steve Rogers, but now he's here, and he's just trying to take the interdimensional champion out of the matchup. I think at this rate... Oh, my God, he's got a chair down into the ribs. Captain Falcon, he's got a match with Batman later tonight for the championship. As the referee trying to pull these two apart, Captain Falcon, he's just making sure right now, he's making sure that Steve Rogers does not keep the ARW Interdimensional Championship by the end of the night.
He's got him back up and into Falcon Punch and walks away. Oh, now we're back in the ring. Claymore. Captain America's out of it. Captain Falcon's taking him out, too. We have a double champion. Champion Captain Falcon. Of course, he shows up. He's Captain Falcon. Falcon punches Steve Rogers, takes him out of the match on the outside. And in the end, Shaggy. Waluigi boots Shaggy's head off. And now. Waluigi is the interdimensional champion. How do you top that triple threat match? Tag Team, Tornado, Extreme Rules. That's how. Because ladies and gentlemen, up next is a Tag Team, Extreme Rules, Tornado Tag Match. As Flash and Green Lantern of the Justice League make their way to the ring. Earlier tonight, just two matches ago now, Superman was defeated by Incineroar. But, Flash and Green Lantern Too bothered by it. They gotta, they gotta hold their heads high, and they gotta look towards the future, not, not the past. They gotta hope that they can beat the Deadly Alliance, their opponents tonight. Sub-Zero, half of the Deadly Alliance. Oh! Well, that's one way to do it. Green Lantern and Scorpion, one member of each team, or Green Lantern and Sub-Zero, excuse me, one member of each team kind of standing tall against their opponent. One fall to the finish tonight. We could see all sorts of toys being brought out in this matchup, though. As now, Flash and Green Lantern looking to stand tall already. And Green Lantern hangs him up in the ropes. Scorpion back to his feet. Turned around. Drop kick from Sub Zero. And Scorpion takes Green Lantern out of the ring. First toy in the matchup, Kendo Stick. Oh, he misses. Uh oh, that could be bad. But it's Green Lantern with the makeup for it, so you know it's not all bad. There's the big uppercut from Sub-Zero. 
I think we owe that referee a lot of uh, workers' compensation tonight, by the way. I, on behalf of ARW, would like to apologize to that referee because he has taken more of a beating than he signed up for today. And that, you know, I... Like I said, on behalf of ARW, I apologize to that referee because that is not the referee's job. But right now, Flashing Green Lantern kind of, um... I don't think this is what they thought they were coming into in this matchup. This Green Lantern into a into a cloverleaf sharpshooter of his own. And Sub Zero, well, he's not there to not there to save Scorpion. That's no problem because Scorpion just fought out of it himself. A Sub Zero now, sharpshooter on the outside. Oh, go! Oh, Scorpion through the table. Flash taps out on the outside, but it's got to be inside the ring for it to count, buddy. And oh, man. Green Lantern throws Scorpion out of the ring. Green Lantern. No Sub-Zero to save him. Flash sent back in the ring, though. Scorpion powerbombed on the apron. But Scorpion always able to get right back up if he's been knocked down. Sub-Zero. He's got Flash up and drops him. And Sub-Zero looking to gut-wrench Flash on the inside of the ring. This matchup may be a bit shorter than originally believed. I, um... I'd be lying if I said I expected anything remotely like this, actually. Oh, super kick! Super kick to Green Lantern. Flash. Oh, another super kick. And back on the inside of the ring. Flash, nowhere to go. Taps out. Deadly Alliance are your winners. What a battle that was as well. We saw toys of all kinds all over the place. We saw tables, we saw kendo sticks, we saw baseball bats. Scorpion and Sub-Zero are the winners, and so far, the Deadly Alliance have won two of, their three, two of the three matches with Justice League, and the third is up next, the main event time. Main event time, ladies and gentlemen. Main event time. The following contest, scheduled for one fall is for the ARW Heavyweight Championship. Guys, here comes the challenger, the number one contender, the final hope for the Justice League, the Dark Knight, the Caped Crusader, the savior of Gotham City, Batman. Batman has beat the other three members of the Deadly Alliance on his own before. The question is, can he defeat the captain of the Deadly Alliance? This is Batman's first ever match on an RW7 Midnight Special. Scratch that, it's his second match on a Saturday Night Special. The last match Batman had on a Saturday Night Special was against Big Bad Bosses. 
So Batman knows a thing or two about faction warfare. But the Dark Knight is looking to rise tonight. Batman is looking to go beyond the limits of ARW. Could tonight be the night that the reign of Batman begins? Or will this night be the killing joke with the Justice League? Here comes the ARW champion, Captain Falcon. Command is the night for Falcon to either put up or shut up. Falcon has talked to Big Game for two months, and for two months, every win he's gotten with that championship on the line has been because someone helped him get the victory. Tonight he's locked in the cell. Nobody gets in, nobody gets out until the bell rings. time tonight, holding that championship up, making sure everyone knows he's the champion. This is it. The cell is being lowered. And the ARW Championship is on the line. Here we go. Mind games here, it seems, from, uh, Champion and Challenger. Oh, and Batman, well. Suplex Captain Falcon back into the ring. Falcon back up. Batman. Sends him off the ropes. Falcon finds the counter. Captain Falcon. Jab. Batman with a counter of his own. Batman takes down Captain Falcon. Falcon back to his feet. Batman with a running clothesline. And Captain Falcon rolls under the bottom rope. Captain Falcon back in the ring. And Captain Falcon going for a kick. Batman, full Nelson, suplex, takes him down. Got him back up. Batman, counter, Falcon, kicks. Oh, went for, a, went for the Raptor boost. Got him that time. And a drop kick to the side. Batman gets caught with a belly-to-belly -belly from Falcon. Falcon 
picks Batman back up. There's a jab. Batman with a forearm. Cover. One. No kick out. Oh, went for the kick. Batman found the counter again. Sends Falcon into the corner. There's the big drop kick. Batman off the corner. Another big drop kick. Staggers Batman, or Staggers Falcon, who goes down. Captain Falcon. Oh, wait. Batman into a submission hold. Batman knows how to work over every joint, every point in the body. Batman knows how to work against it. There's the kick across the face. The top. Captain Falcon went for the elbow. Batman out of the way. Batman's got him back up. Batman with a kick. And a body slam from Captain Falcon. Who drops the fist onto Batman? Now Falcon's calling him up. Right hand knocks him back. Captain Falcon. No, oh, Batman out of the way. Batman grabs him. German suplex connects. Into the cover. One. Two. No. Kick out from Batman. For Captain Falcon. How am I getting these two confused? I don't know. Captain Falcon slips out. As Batman hits him with an uppercut. Batman sends Falcon in the corner. Oh, into the cell goes Batman. Captain Falcon. Man, I'm just trying to use the cell to his advantage. Oh, and he slams Batman into the corner of the cell. He's looking to break the Batman. But Batman looking to do it right back to Falcon. Throws him into the cage again. And again, he throws him to the floor this time. And back in the ring he goes. Falcon finds the counter. Falcon, Falcon. Oh, gets caught up on the ropes. Batman picks up Captain Falcon. Oh, into an armbar. Armbar locked in. And a right hand. And another. And over the top rope out to the cage floor goes Batman. Captain Falcon again grabs him. And finds the counter. Another counter. Oh, Batman knocked into the cell. Definitely seen the cage come more into play here than we did between Sephiroth and Giovanni earlier tonight. Now Captain Falcon. Batman sends him into the cell again. What's going on here? Falcon, he's picked Batman back up. Send him into the... Oh! Whoa! What the... panel of the cell just came off. They've escaped the cell. Was it supposed to break like that? What? Oh! In the barricade he goes. And 
Now Captain Falcon looks like he's trying to escape from Batman. Oh! Batman finds the counter. Oh! Oh! Up the side of the cell. Well, now Falcon's gonna try and escape. Now Batman can't follow him. And Captain Falcon is on top of Hell in a Cell. Telling Batman to, to come on. Oh God. That, guys, that, that paneling's not very strong. Like, this is... This is very, um, far from safe. Uh, Falcon. Whoa! Oh! oh my god! And he's, he's back on his feet. He's back on his feet. Falcon lost his footing and fell off the cell. Falcon has now taken two falls off the cell. Well, I'm so confused. Batman's just waiting for the champion to come up after him. And they're back on top of the cell. Oh! Mm. This is getting... This is getting scary. Scary's the word for it. We've already seen Falcon tumble off the side of the cell. Fortunately, it was to the more, to the more padded part of the floor, but still. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh, that's scaring me. Guys, this... This is too far. That's too far! Oh my god. Captain Falcon just went through the roof of the cell. And now Batman's calling up, single leg running knee, here it comes. Oh wait, no! Into all the bell lock? What? What is Falcon made of? Falcon Punch! What is Batman made of? They're still going. Heard of tear the house down? These two are tearing the cell down. Now Batman, the submission specialist we've known him as. Well, he was going to set up for a surfboard stretch. Falcon back to his feet. Captain 
Falcon. Rolls him through. Kicks him in the head. Knocks him in the corner. Is he gonna does he have the energy to do this? Oh my god, he has the energy to do this. German from Batman though. Captain Falcon now into the Falcon Arrow. Very rarely do we see him pull it out, but when he does, no! Neither man accepting defeat tonight. Batman drops him. Falcon has Batman up and takes him down. And now Falcon in two. Falcon kick. This has got to be it. Batman's gone through the cell. Falcon's gone off the cell. This has got to be it. I can't look. Oh my god. How? How is either man still in this match? Running all the Falcon, he understandably rolls out of the ring. And out of the cell he goes. Falcon just now he's using the outside of the ring to his advantage. Both men torn each other apart, and Falcon just repeatedly slamming Batman off of the side of the barricades. Batman on the counter. Right hand of Captain Falcon staggers the champion. Side man. Oh, head first off the. S oh, oh, he's reading his face on the side of that. Back in the ring, it seems. Oh, and Batman, the greatest detective in the world, just fell for the oldest trick in the book. He fell for twice, come on. Batman. man. He did not fall for it a third time, so credit where it's due there, I guess. You know, some people probably started this match thinking this isn't a main event worthy uh, level of matchup. I would be willing to bet those people are wrong. Falcon kicks at it too. I was setting that up thinking it was the end. I thought Batman had just beat Captain Falcon for sure. Oh my god. Falcon shoves him away. Off the ropes. Falcon punch. Number three. That's gotta be it. Two. Three. It's finally over. Complete shutout. Victory.
just wow. We really don't have any highlights of either of them falling. Well, let me end. The winner and still champion. Count Falcon. Thank you all for watching this episode of ARW. I've been Xander. Tune in Thursday for the fallout of ARW Halloween Havoc. <laughs>